Research at the University of Manchester has gone on to change the world. While some scientists use big, expensive equipment for their research, Archibald Vivian Hill did his groundbreaking experiments in the 1920s using only a humble thermometer. Have you ever wondered why you get warm during exercise? You might think that this is caused by friction as your muscle fibres rub together. But then why do your muscles heat up when you are doing a static or isometric exercise like the plank or wall sit? Archibald Hill got to the bottom of these questions using a particularly Parisian protocol which involved measuring the minutest changes in temperature over fractions of a second in the muscles of dissected frog legs. But to understand his methods we need to do a quick crash course in energy and chemistry. Atoms are joined together by bonds to create molecules. Breaking bonds requires energy and making bonds releases energy. When two chemicals react together, existing bonds are broken and new bonds are formed. With some reactions, only a small amount of energy is required to break the existing bond and a large amount of energy is released when the new bonds are formed. This excess energy is normally released as heat. Archibald found that frogs' muscles use the energy released by chemical reactions to do work, like muscle contraction. But not all the energy released is utilised by the muscle. The leftover chemical energy is released as heat. This is a lot like your car engine. The engine is using chemical reactions to push the car forward, but not all the energy can be captured by the motor. Much of the energy is released as heat. This is why your car engine needs a radiator cooling system, and it's also why you need a sweat cooling system. Archibald investigated his frog legs a lot like a car engine. He gave the muscles different fuels and investigated how these fuels changed the chemical composition of the exhaust. He also tracked the speed and type of chemical reactions by measuring the tiny changes in temperature of the muscles. Through this, Archibald established a foundation of knowledge for biophysical and biochemical processes of muscle contraction. One cool thing he discovered was that heat is released during muscle relaxation, suggesting that relaxing your muscles requires energy. This explains rigor mortis. After death, the body becomes rigid because the body doesn't have enough energy to relax. I guess this is a bit like when you are too tired to go to bed so you just stay up watching minute lecture videos. Archibald will be remembered as a pioneer of biophysical research and he reminds us that groundbreaking research requires a rich mind but not necessarily expensive equipment.